I wasn't sure if I'd ever get my hands on one of these special devices. The Sony MZ-DH10P was everything Sony could find in 2005, smashed into one small high MD recorder. The camera lens was hidden under this sliding cover and has a 1.3 megapixel resolution sensor. It wrote to high MD discs or normal MDs formatted as high MD. It looks like the thicker big brother of the MZ and H1. It uses the same LIP 4WM lithium battery and uses the same charging connector as the MZ N10 and MZ and H1. Let's check it out. We'll use this test disc. I forgot to mention the nice color screen on this. When I slide down the lens cover, it switches to photo mode and asks me to set the time, date, and format the disc to high MD. Let's go ahead and format this so we can test the camera. For those not familiar, you can format regular MDs to high MD mode, but they'll only give you about one third the capacity of a one gig high MD disc. Okay, here we go. And here's why I received this unit for repair. The sensor on this one is showing a lot of fringing and artifacts. The artifacts aren't just on the viewfinder, but in the image file, so the sensor is bad. I can't fix a CMOS sensor. This button switches to playback to view photos. There, you can see it's pretty obvious. I like that you can zoom in with the jog dial. Well, this sensor is cooked. Let's get to that in a second. I can't fix a CMOS sensor, but in this case, there's a donor that has a working one. The black one has a problem writing to disk, but the sensor looks good. Let's turn this off and get ready to take them apart. Oops, got to close the lens cover first. Let's take the battery out. Let's open the black one first. Start with the screw by the headphone jack. Now for the two screws at the bottom. Then these two at the ends of the side panel.
Now we'll pry apart with the eject lever slid over. Pry away from the headphone jack side. Be gentle, there's a buzzer connected to the front cover. That little harness is tiny, so I'm going to leave it and try to be careful. And there's the sensor we want. It has two connectors to the board, so let's flip those open. The sensor isn't fastened, it's just wedged in nicely. I'm going to start lifting from the bottom edge. Once it's a bit looser, I can deal with the flex cables. There's the big one. Pay attention to the cable routing here. This smaller cable runs between the board and a metal plate that holds the sensor. There, got the sensor out. This is a 1.3 megapixel CMOS sensor from 2005. Think of the tiny, powerful sensor in your smartphone now. Okay, let's put that aside and open up the silver one. Same as last time, let's start with the screw by the headphone jack. Then the bottom two. Then the two side ones at each end. Oops, didn't get that one. Okay, prying time. Again, hold the eject slider open and pry away from the headphone jack side. Again, don't open it too wide since there's a buzzer. Okay, there's the bad sensor on the right side. Identical size, so we should be good to swap them. Let's flip open the latches.
Like the other one, I'll lift from the bottom of the sensor. Once it's loose, I'll get the flex cables out. Okay, bad sensor is out. Let's get this working one in there. I started trying to get this big connector in first, but I realized it's easier to get the smaller one in first. There's just a bit more flex in the small cable, so let's start there. I'm going to feed the smaller flex cable into the connector, then route the cable as seen in that picture. That sharp bend and tuck is tough to manage, so be patient. Once it's tucked behind that metal plate that holds the sensor, you should be good. Tip the sensor in top edge first. Remember, we can push in the bottom at the end. Now that the sensor is seated nicely, we can fasten the large flex cable. Okay, that's the large one clipped in. I'm just making sure the small cable is tucked away properly. A little bit of lint or something, let's get that. Okay, let's reassemble, jack side first. Then we'll gently close it along the way to the battery compartment. Okay, looks good. Let's test. Yeah, no music tracks. Let's just test the camera. Look at that, the sensor's working after the transplant. Looks good with no fringing or artifacts. Everything's working, and the pictures and sensor look good and clean.
Well, it looks good, so let's finish the reassembly. These two end screws on the side plate. Two screws on the bottom. And last one by the headphone jack. Let's try some high MD music. I formatted the Sony ES disc as high MD and recorded some tracks in high SP. What a great screen for navigating your tracks. This thing is pretty sweet. I've got to get one someday. Well, this was fun. I want to thank mdcon.live for letting me work on these. If you want to see more MDs in real life, check out mdcon.live for their schedule. I'm just going to scroll through the pictures for a bit, but as always, Thanks for watching.